What's happening, everybody? This is the Sasuke, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. As you can probably see up here in the small text, the build is updated, so there's been a massive update. I'm not gonna go over a lot of the changes, because a lot of them aren't very important, but I'll hit the really big ones. The big ones are Houndmaster's been added, it's a new character class. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. As you can guess, the Houndmaster has a nice hound. The sanitarium has been overhauled slightly. There's now the medical ward down here, which moves diseases instead of just the uh, quirks and illnesses you can get. Of course, some of them are really bad, and some of them aren't too terrible. Uh, there's, there's actually, like, these are far worse than the... Uh, quirks and stuff you can get. So I'm just checking all the characters and making sure they don't have anything crazy. And it doesn't look like most of them do. I mean, our highwayman, Bobap, I believe, had rabies, but I think we can overcome the accuracy debuff to just take the free damage. I believe, anyway. Pretty sure we can. Let's go ahead and see where we can embark off to today. And let's see who we have available. We have two level zeros and some level ones that can go with them. We have a lot of level 2s, and we have a level 3, so a level 3 mission would not be a bad choice. Or at least a long level 1. Doesn't look like there's anything too interesting, though. Here's one. Vestal plus damage. That's weird, but it removes uh, <laughs> some of the use of healing skills, which I'm not too thrilled about. We might just go check out a level 3 dungeon. The dodgy sheath is pretty good, and I don't really plan on using this. I don't like the melee skills for the highwayman as much as I do the range skills. So let's go for this dodgy sheath. Yeah, definitely this dodgy sheath. Let's try level 3. It's risky as crap, but we can finally bring newbie out. Newbie can finally reign supreme again. Oh man, I wanted to bring Joe out, but we had to bring newbie, and Bobat needs the levels. Kristen could use more XP than I need. And who else do we have a little to? John, sadly, is uh, in the sanitarium, I believe. Could bring Alex, but she can only use a couple of her attacks. Looks like Billy's the only one that really fills the slot. I mean, we could go double healer. Or Brian would fit really well here, too. Because he can use all but Crush from here. We can replace Crush with something else. But I think we're just going to take Billy instead, because he can use all of his skills from this third slot. Which I think is going to make him slightly more useful. Let's see what we got going here. We'll take this off. They buffed this and changed the tracking shot, so it's actually, like, amazing. Uh, let's see what else they did. Some greater stress healing. But um, the monsters crit more often, so... Yeah, no. I don't think we're going to get to use Holy Lance much, so we're going to put Stunning Blow back on. I like what our uh, main man Billy is rolling. And before before we get too, too crazy, since we are going to be taking them off into a higher level dungeon, I do want to upgrade all their stuff. Just because I can see it getting really dangerous if we go in underprepared. Yeah, and like everybody needs some levels, so I feel like we did the right choice here. We're using a lot of money, but I think it's like almost a half to at this point. Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and do Holy Lance. And now we have to check the damn blacksmith, which I don't want to do because we're poor. Oh No. No, no, no. Everybody needs stuff. This is terrible. Wait, did we upgrade the wrong frickin' Vestal? Oh my lord. Okay, I'm sorry. You only get those two. And we're only going to upgrade the weapons for the DPS classes. Because we just spent all of the money we had saved up, so. That's really bad. And Kristen's going to be fine. Well, there goes all the money we had saved. Let's see if we can sell anything. I think we already sold all we wanted to, though, sadly. I don't like... Actually, that scouting chance might be kind of nice. Because I've kind of been doing a new strategy that I'm going to go over once we get into our dungeon. So we had Bobap, Newbie... Kristen in the fourth slot. Then we had Billy. 
Alright, let's go ahead and provision up our heroes a little bit. He has a big um, negative accuracy from that rabies, but I think if we equip him with this, it'll pretty much get rid of the accuracy debuff. And we'll give him the dodgy sheath, so his dodge doesn't get affected. His accuracy is gonna be low, actually. That's a little scary. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it'll only be minus four. That's not the worst. Let's go ahead and look over. Well, we have a Vestal only stuff, right? We have the extra healing skills, which I'm totally digging. And then we have the double healing skills. So she's a little weak, but she heals 50% better. I think that's pretty good. We have the damage for the bounty hunter. And we'll give him the scouting chance, I'm gonna say. I like the scouting chance. And then Nubi, the big man on campus right now. We'll go ahead and give him the Ancestral so he resists debuffs better. And on top of that, we'll give him... I rather like the uh, Crusader's Crest. He doesn't have his Battle Hill unlocked, which is really strong, but we don't have the money for it, so... This will minus his stress resist a little bit, but I think it's going to be worth it. Alright, well, that's everybody fully equipped and ready to go. Let's try it. We're going to need lots of food for this. I'm guessing 24. The runes, level 3. So let's go with 3 shovels just to be safe. 1 anti-venom. There's not much that's going to venom you in the runes. And I can't remember what the anti-venom would be used on in the actual thing, so let's just go three bandages. Two bandages. <laughs> One medical herb, two keys, two holy waters, and let's go six torches. Now, this is breaking us, so this is, a uh, we're going all out. This is pretty, pretty risky, honestly, but the rewards are so great. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Oh, they got rid of now, that, um... Boring. The tabs I'd click over here to see things. So now you just right-click and you can have all the information quickly in front of you. I don't know if it's convenient or... Wow, this is kind of scary. Let's count our rooms, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, 14. I'm gonna guess that we can skip one room. So, probably be easiest just to skip this one and just go... Doot go up, go left, go up, left, down, and then take a right towards the end. Hold on, let's see what kind of camping skills we have. We could honestly... No, no, no. Here lately, I've been doing a really early camp to get the crazy buffs and then just coast on those for a while. But I think we're just gonna play it cool. Ooh, 800 gold, that's nice. And I've been rolling in pitch darkness with extra scouting chances a lot here lately too for the extra money and it's been working out thus far I don't I don't know if it's been luck that's been working out oh that's a little bit oh that's a terrible freaking swap though I think we just need to go ahead and put a tracking shot out so we can get some extra damage we're just gonna have to move our Vestal back she can't do anything from this position That's pretty sucky. That's a lot of damage. The Eldritch Pool doesn't really bother Billy that much, honestly. So let's go ahead and mark this guy. If anything, it just helps our position out a little bit. Monsters with high protection. So yeah, this guy has a lot higher protection now in the new update. So we need to deal with him in other ways than just like pushing our face into him. So I do think we're going to try for a stun here. It's about a 70... No, actually, it's only about a 50%. And he resisted. 14 damage, really good. I think we may just finish him off with the judgment. Confidence oh, yeah. As the enemy crumbles. We had two choices. We could have tried for the stun or a heal, because that was actually quite a bit of damage on Billy. 16 damage flat is pretty damn sexy, though. Let's just go for the damage. 11 is pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. Did that buff fall off? No, that was just a really low roll. I was kind of hoping we killed him there. Ah, uh, he gets the howl off. 
Now that is some terrible stress. To start off with, too. Seven Hill is so fat, though. Ooh, the crit. Good job, newbie. Holy moly. We're already stressing out, though. Really, really badly. As victories mount, so too will resistance. That, su that early surprise was like one of the worst things that could have happened to us in that situation, sadly. We kept Radiant Light going through here. Hoping for some scouting. Doesn't look like we're gonna get any. The pack's already been looted! We're doing fine on HP. The only thing that's worrying me is all the stress. The stress is supposed to pile up a lot faster now. Oh, I should pop that. Okay, some more empty rooms. I mean, I'm not complaining about the emptiness. No, too risky. We could just get overstressed from trying to read those. Trap, but at least it was on somebody who wasn't, like, ridiculously stressed out. We knew this was going to be hard coming into this, because we don't have very good gear, and this is level 3 with a bunch of, with some level 2s. So, good. That's a good opener right there. And now these corpses stay here. I forgot to even mention that. The corpses just stick around, and, uh, they pretty much don't allow the line to move upwards. So if you had a lot of strategies like I did, based on isolating cl um, targets closer to the front, you can find yourself in some bad positions now. This may have been a mistake coming here. These guys are wrecking us right now. Let's try to pull this guy forwards. Good pull. A clumsy axe blade. Ah, eh, moved him forwards one. That's, that's a little annoying. Um... Can we go for a stun? 45%? Yeah, there's a pretty good chance. I kinda just wanna stun this guy up and deal with these guys in the back a little bit. Oh, six damage, man. That's not what we're looking for at all. And they are laying into us right now. A nine hill? Holy! That's so good. Let's bring this guy forwards again. Now you're in front of the corpse, buddy. <laughs> They are just murdering Billy right now. As the 19 falls, damage though. That's actually incredible. Let's go ahead and get the buff. Uh, we missed it, but we did get the buff. No, we didn't. I lied. That's actually really sad. So, it seems like the hi <laughs> not the highway, man. Oh! Oh! Reeling. About to break. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Mistakes may have been made. I mean, Newbie's still doing his damnedest. Like, he's fucking rocking it. But everybody else is taking so much damage right now. Let's go for a grape shot. There's a pretty high chance to kill and deal damage. And it didn't kill, of course, but there was the chance. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. At least Billy ended up getting a kill. Nice dodge from Newbie. They moved him up one, too. Let's go with another group hill. Four is fantastic. If we can keep getting that, I'm gonna be ecstatic. I think we may as well go for a stun here, because his stun buff is already worn off. Fights do last a little bit longer because of the corpses, and they do disappear eventually too. So there's negatives and positives to the corpse reroll or rework. He has 50% protection, so I'm gonna mark him, because I doubt he's gonna be dying within this turn. Ah, oh, that protection. We should have brought a debuffer, honestly. A lot more emphasis has been given to debuffing targets, so the Plague Doctor is like ridiculously good right now. Because this high protection, 50%, that cuts all your damage so far down. Oh, he dodged it too. The nice thing about the corpses though, besides them being annoying and kind of disrupting the fight, is we have to go for the gun. Oh, zero! I should have used the other attack! I crit too! I can't believe it! I... <sighs> Mistakes were made, man. We gotta go for some stress hill. Eight is nice, but we're gonna need a lot more than that. I mean, hopefully this doesn't stress us out because they think we're prolonging the fight, which we totally are. There we go. So we got 16 off of him, which makes me feel a little bit better, but Jesus, that fight was brutal. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We've already made quite a bit of gold, though. We might just have to go ahead and shut up and do the really, really early campfire. 
I'm going to try for one more room. If we can get one more room, I'm going to be happy with it, and I'm just going to go and campfire up. Because if we can get those early buffs and stress relief on people, I think we... Oh, that trap is so bad. Yeah, if this is an empty room, we're just going to say screw it and camp up. The path is clear. Okay. We require only the strength to follow Definitely it. need the stress relief, even if it's just a little bit. Definitely have to clean guns. That buff is going to be incredible. Zealous speech is looking like what we're going to be doing here. The scouting chants, I want to do so bad, so we're going to. The chant would be really useful for two. Or we could reduce uh, the chance of getting ambushed, but I think we're going to take a risk. I really like this double combo, so I'm going to do it. Then we're going to reduce newbie quite a bit. And I'm, I'm looking like some encouragement is going to be our last little bit here. 48 to 46. Looks like Billy gets it. Well, looks like we got a fight, sadly. Ambush, don't... Ah, oh, it moved us, but it wasn't a bad. It wasn't a bad movement at all. The Bone Noble has to die immediately. These crits are ridiculous, actually. I can't believe what's happening. I feel like we're getting trolled by the game right now. I think we go for the Grape Shot. Wow, that's incredible damage, actually. Let's just go for the damage. And the miss is not what we were looking for, but you know what? You can't hit them all. Oh, but you can kill them all. Damn, finished him. Let's go with the Zealous Accusation. What's the chance to kill? It's a really low chance to kill, though, so I think we're just going to go for the Guaranteed. Or the Miss. <laughs> you know, whatever works. It's worth a shot. Um, I think another Grape Shot is in order. A good chance to kill, and it could just finish them all off. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. This Highwayman buff is going to be our key to success. can be felled. They can be beaten. So we're going to go ahead and use one of our bandages. I don't see a reason not to. We did get the scout. And it was a pretty big one. I see a lot of empty rooms. That makes me really happy. As long as we keep our light up, there's a really low chance of us getting ambushed too. So we're going to hope for a scout here. If we get a scout here and it reveals these three, we'll go in pitch blackness all the way through all three of them. It's risky, but there's a lot higher chance for us to crit to reduce our stress. Higher chance for the enemies to give us more stress. But I think it's going to end up working out for us. We have a double 60%. I'm going to try the guy. Sadly, he didn't get it. So now he's like stressing his face off. And we got to eat. So it's looking ugly right now. It's looking really, really ugly. Our highwayman needs to go really clutch here. Bobap is just going to have to carry. I wish there was another way about it, but there's not. At least we got one of the disarms. I mean, it sucks that Billy got so much extra stress from that, but at least one of the disarms guarantees us he got minus 8 instead of like the plus 15 it was. Watch your step. We're good. Calm down. We're gonna go ahead and pop some torches. It, this is we're popping the torches in the hope for the scout here. The scout could be what decides this whole thing. An empty room, and we only got one. So, ooh, this is so good. That is precisely what we needed. That's gonna save us money when we get back to the town. It is also gonna save us the risk of him going crazy psycho bonkers and pretty much stressing everybody to oblivion. Oh, we got another scout. Okay. May indeed We're going in the darkness. Shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. The glint of gold is what we're after, my friend. The glint of gold in these crits. <laughs> the crits are also part of that whole thing we got going. We can't be surprised because we scouted this out. But this is a really hard fight. So, I'm going to go ahead and try for the stun here. Wow, I didn't notice. It actually says their skills down there now, the monster skills. That's really nice. 
Let's go ahead and try to pull this fella. Nice, he's up front. It's so good. And the point blank, good damage. Sadly, it knocked him back. But he decided to do the bayonet instead of hurting our whole team, so... Anytime they make that decision, I'm going to be fine with it. We're probably going to have to go with the heal here. And we're going to try to grab this guy and bring him forward. So, Grape Shot Blast is looking pretty desirable. What I think I'm going to do is attempt for the tracking shot. Nice. And that's going to buff our damage next round to Oblivion. They are going hard on Billy, though. 20 fat stress right on the top. It's not what we want. Let's bring this guy forward. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, he's coming to the front line. Have you met our friends? Let's, let's do some stress heal. Four is really good. That's the double stress heal. Then I'm thinking, let's just heal everybody a little bit. Three's good. Three's better than two. <laughs> herp, herp. <laughs> Waiting for the highway, man. He's... Oh, the tempting goblets are off the chain right now. 20. This. Ah, uh, can't. You'll be alright, buddy. We'll bring this guy forward so we can hit everybody with the grape shot instead of just... Ah, uh, we brought him into attack range. And 12. Jesus. I think it was worth it, though. We brought him onto the grape shot range. 7 is pretty good. I wouldn't mind doing a bit of cheese stress heal, but I don't know if we're going to get the chance. Six is pretty bad. The stun is what I didn't want to happen. We need to kill this veteran, and then we may be able to stun lock this guy. Oh, Or that can happen. So we'll... Maybe we can stun lock this guy, or we can hurt him just a little bit. Oh, we can't use that on him. And everything else is going to kill him. I mean, we can mark him. As long as you do an action, I don't think it counts as cheesing in the eyes of the game. Okay, he didn't even get down on Death's Door, so that's nice. Eh, this guy isn't even going to be able to stress though, because he's... Let's see if we can get a Grape Shot crit, though, maybe. Nice! It's going to reduce some of the stress, even on a corpse. This expedition at least promises Okay, success. well the quest is complete. We'll continue adventuring to open this up. It's unlocked. We'll take this to sell it, I mean, and let's go over here and see what this is. There's a battle. Oh, it's double room battle. I don't, I don't think we're going to mess with the double room battle. See how much, uh, I think we lost out on money here quite a bit, but everybody's upgraded a little bit, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. That's actually not too bad. 13k plus another dodgy sheath for our highwayman, or another one in the future. Oh, and we got a bunch of level 3s now. That's really good. Egomania, that really does suck. But the uh, damage in the runes is fantastic. Soft is bad that we want to get rid of. It's not the worst thing. 5% um, health isn't, isn't going to murder us instantly or anything. Look at all these level 3s, though. We have a full level 3 composition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that wasn't the best showing that they could have had, but they weren't even, like, fully upgraded. We didn't have their... We didn't have anything for them, actually, so... I think they did fantastically for their current position. Definitely going to be using this. Sell that. Not going to be using that. We'll probably use the dodgy sheath, but I don't think we're going to be using these two. The Plague Doctor stuff, I mean... The accuracy's nice, but... I guess it probably won't be too terrible. Because, I mean... How much is that? That's one, that's one HP for four accuracy. I think that's totally worth. So we're up to 19k, which isn't really where we want to be. We'll keep these in case we end up getting another Plague Doctor with... And we might do this honor too, for the double accuracy buffs. 10 dodge if above, 75, minus 6 if below. That's interesting. I might, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that too. So let's just go ahead and sort by rarity. We're looking for none of these people, sadly. And we need 10 deeds to increase the amount of heroes we can have. We're looking for the new character. That's what we're looking for. Well, it's already 24 minutes in. I think we should just do some stress relief. Newbie has to. The rest of these people, uh, how much is it? 850 actually isn't bad. 
We'll go ahead and commit both of them. And I think Bobap's going to go have a nice drink. He carried pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. Well, he can't have a drink. He's going to go with the brothel. Hey, even better. <laughs> so, Bobap's chilling out in the brothel, enjoying himself some um, unsavory things. We unequipped all the trinkets. And let's see where we're going to go for the next episode, because I'm probably going to do four episodes today. I don't know if they're all going to go up, for the simple fact that our internet has been acting a fool here lately. That's actually interesting as crap. 15% damage on our Crusader would be nice. We, we rarely use the hill, we just use the stress hill. But I think we're going to go for this. I like the quick draw charm a lot. It's long, so there's a lot of gold to be made. But... That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you liked it, leave a like down there. Let's see who's died. I don't think anybody. Nobody's even died yet. It's fantastic. So this guy, like, pointing off, you can go screw yourself. But if you liked it, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to check out the other content on my channel. We have Nuclear Throne, which goes up daily, except for today, where we're going to be pumping out tons of Darkest Dungeon because of the new patch. We also have Isaac, which is going strong. Nice streak going on, Isaac. We haven't lost yet, which makes me anxious to play, but we have to anyway. That's going to be oh, all for this video. See you guys.